Hi everybody, Rick from AGIProDJ.com and we're here talking more specifically about something that got a lot of attention in one of our other videos. This is a wireless setup that is most commonly seen to you know, put a lapel mic or, or whatever to make a, a wired microphone wireless. That's how it's normally used, but we found that it's the most accurate, the most sonic um, quality product out there for actually broadcasting what happens on this speaker in another room. And this is a perfect setup to show how this location works. I'm actually in the um, top floor of a Hilton right now. The room I'm in is where the dancing is going to happen, but clear across the hall is where dinner is going to be, there's going to be the cake and toast, all that stuff is happening in the other room. So rather than you know, string a whole bunch of cords around, which clutters things up and takes a lot of time and labor to set up, we're going to use this system. And this system is, is purchasable in a couple ways. The transmitter and receiver, these are Sennheiser products. Um, and there's also another way you can purchase it, and it's with the little XLR transmitter. This is a cool, cool device. Uh, videographers love this product. Um, you've probably seen how this works to turn any wired microphone into a wireless. That's kind of what it's designed to do. Uh, the system also comes with a lav mic, so if you're not using it to broadcast remotely with your speakers, you could also use it as lav mic. But check out what this does. It, this actually, when you're using this for powered speakers in particular, you can plug this in. Most, most powered or active speakers will have an XLR out. So I've already determined what my frequencies are going to be based on this venue. Check out how slick this is. And we may have to uh, change our cord length just slightly to get that to go back in there. But that just goes in just like that. If that isn't the slickest thing you've ever seen in your life, that is the transmitter. So here's what we're going to do. With a matching receiver with already scanned frequency to match up, we're going to walk into the other room. I'm going to turn this up. First thing we're going to do is listen to the song that's playing. Just to make sure we're not doing something funky, we're doing this all in one take. Listen to this. sound you're hearing, this is actually a wired signal, XLR cable from this console to this powered speaker, that's a wired signal. We're going to take a little walk now and watch what this can do. So we have to come around this hallway, door number one, door number two, we're zigzagging all through this room. Normally I'd have to run my cord all the way around this whole entire room. Check this out. Here's the speaker. Here's a cable that we've already got ready to go. We hook this up. We turn the power on. Now the volume, this speaker is off right now. But if you can zoom in, you may not even be able to see it, but you can see this little AF LEDs bouncing up and down. That's the signal. That's the signal that's coming from where we just were. So, and you see the RF next to it? That's the signal strength. It's almost 100%. So this distance and these curves, almost 100%. We'll just put up this little receiver where you can't even see it. We're going to turn the speaker on. And as this power is on, Take a look. There's the signal LED. You see it kind of bouncing around a little bit. It's receiving a signal. Point this where you want it. We're going to turn this dial up to the level we want. Now, I'm going to have the camera. Actually, I'll, I'll point this to you so you can see. I'm looping this because I thought it was useful so you could hear. This sounds identical to what it sounded like in the other room, but you've got that keyboard going too. Hear that? Sonically, no difference. We've had people that watched our videos and said, well, yeah, you can do what you're trying to do, but you're going to lose some sonic fidelity because it can't reproduce all the frequencies. That's hogwash. Wireless microphones, good ones, reproduce all kinds of, you know, all the way from 20 all up to 20,000. Now, we're going to walk even farther. <laughs> Come check this out. Do you like trees? The trees? And the trees? No. Okay. 
second receiver. You get two of these or, or one system that has an extra receiver, you do the same exact thing right here. Plug that battery in, you turn it on. Just hide it nice and slick up there, turn the power on. And this is where the magic happens. One transmitter, two receivers dialed into the same exact frequency. How cool is that? Anyway, we're, we're pretty jazzed about it. And, and we're in the business of helping DJs come up with solutions. Can anybody sell this product? Absolutely. You can drop this in a cart from any company that sells cameras, they sell guitars, whoop de doo But when you purchase it from us, we know how this stuff works. We can help you figure out how to set the stuff. When you take it out of the box, the transmitter has a sensitivity setting, the receiver has an AF gain setting. We can help you determine the best settings for your particular uh, application. So we can also help you rig up a case with some pick foam to it so that it's got a nice little transport case. Um, we're here to help solve problems and so this is just one of the coolest things out there that we've found. Other manufacturers have attempted to pull this off, but guys, you get what you pay for. Um, some of the $100, $200, $300 dollar systems out there may or may not work. With wireless mics, quality determines everything. You don't want dropouts, you don't want hiss, you don't want a noise. Listen, it's AGIPerDJ.com. Thanks for checking us out.